And I keep telling my friends and my family all the time, it's like, I feel like we're living in a post-apocalyptic world. On March 13th, the University of Nebraska at Omaha joined over 100 colleges across the U.S. in moving all courses to an online format due to the spread of COVID-19. Such a move is unprecedented, and junior communications major Jacob Thimion says this change does not come without its difficulties. The bummer part about, you know, going online totally, it's because you kind of just don't have that access when you can just walk in and say like, oh, can you help me with this? While the transition to online classes was expected, keeping the same level of quality education can prove difficult for certain classes that depend on in-person activities. UNO professor Dr. Chris Allen expresses these concerns. How do you teach ceramics online? You know, how do you teach painting techniques um, online? How do you teach acting and movement online? Many classes are utilizing video conferencing programs and online discussions to communicate with students. But according to a 2018 Sage Journal study, almost 20% of college students have trouble accessing the necessary technology. Dr. Allen also adds that a strong part of the learning process is the social atmosphere of being around other students and peers. Used to coming to class, to chatting with your classmates, to comparing notes or to gripping notes or, you know, whatever you do. With these unprecedented events forcing colleges to go fully online, Dr. Allen believes that this will impact the way colleges conduct their classes even after this crisis is over. The push is going to be even stronger after all of this. For the Omaha News, I'm Josiah Navarro.